you have a very personal connection to the Eastland disaster, Barb and Susan, especially. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, our grandmother and her family uh, were all on board the Eastland. Our grandmother was just shy of her 13th birthday, I believe. And they were on board with uh, her younger sister and their widowed mother. And uh, our great grandmother's brother, he was the employee at Western Electric who had them come along as guests. So very excited. You know, it's a huge, huge day for many, many people. Um, and yeah, they, they amazingly survived. They were trapped between decks when the ship rolled over. Um, my grandmother's uncle was a very strong swimmer. He was credited with saving many lives. Um, my grandmother had learned how to swim from a childhood friend, and she always acknowledged him uh, that it was Ernie's swimming lessons that, that saved her life. Um, yeah, quite, quite a traumatic experience for everybody across the board. Um, amazingly, our family all survived intact um, while there were 22 entire families that were completely wiped out. Um, so very, very tragic. And then uh, my grandmother married, had our dad. And I remember as little girls, you know, Barb and I would ask Nana, you know, to tell us about the time when she was on the big boat. And she would share those stories with us. She was very, very guarded with what she shared because we were pretty young to understand, I think, the the horribleness of what she experienced because she saw terrible, terrible sights as a young girl. Um, but Barb and I both recall her uh, telling us that she could look up through a porthole and saw the sky. And I think that was something that she held on to, you know, as far as being uh, saved. And they were. Um, I don't know exactly how long they were trapped on the boat. It was could have been better part of the day. And they were finally pulled to safety by rope up through a porthole. They did get separated uh, from her younger sister in all the panic. You know, they were just, you know, lifting people up, moving them off the boat, you know, getting brought to hospitals and aid stations. And they did, they thought maybe they had lost Solveig um, for a short while. I have no idea. I don't have a re recollection of how they came back together or found her, but thankfully, you know, they did and they all, they all survived. So it's something that we grew up with knowing. And it was always a surprise to us that others didn't. We just figured everybody did. This was so huge, you know, as far as Chicago history is concerned. And to this day, as I had mentioned to you, we've been doing this 20 plus years, uh, bringing, you know, word of the Eastland, uh, sharing it with the public. And it is still amazing how many people are not aware of this um, huge tragedy um, that occurred in Chicago, right at, right at the river in the middle of the city.